it's Deb here with Creative Life, and today I am sharing a, another swap I'm doing. So I am doing another swap over at um, Pocket Letters and Embellishments on Facebook. Um, and so I am, um, let me get my computer here just a second. Okay. So, um, and so I made this little purse to put my, my swap pieces in here and it, our swap is a um, little um, fan embellishments so these are the fans that I made and we had to make nine so I made nine of those and then this is her little goodie bag that I did and I like this little purse I couldn't find one online that was the measurements that I needed so I went ahead and just kind of like made my own and it, this doesn't have any pockets it's um and I actually laid acetate behind or on top of my paper and then went ahead and used little foam dots to put my um to attach my fans on them so they would stay in one place so they're not gonna move anywhere. And then here I just went ahead and did a little um treat bag with um the little embellishments and things like that inside. So this little purse actually measures, um, well, when it's closed, it measures about seven, almost eight inches by um, five. And then it has, I did a little um, purse, um, little strap right here. And then I just did some little um, uh, brads right here and then put, did my corners and then put some little gems right here. I did two bows out of my um, bow uh, maker, the envelope punch, and I just did a big bow and then I did a small bow and then I cut this one and I cut the, the little tails off of this one and then stuck them right here. So I did add a magnet. At first I added um, uh, Velcro and I didn't like the look of that so I just went ahead and um, I added a magnet to it so I think it looks a little a lot better <laughs> so <laughs> so it'll just fall down like this and um, for this it, it like I said it measures um, have to, it's like 12 a little bit longer because I had to um, put this top flap um, is glued onto uh, this part here. So, um, so yeah, so I went ahead and did this. This is 12 inches by eight. And then this right here, I think that is cut down at four, I believe, or no, three, or three and a half. I think I cut it down at three, um, three by eight. So um, then I just went ahead and attached it, scored my lines, and added my um, little um, magnet here, and then it just closes like that. So, I mean, she can reuse this if she wanted to, or she could just take it apart and use the items that are on here for other projects. So, anyway, just wanted to share this with you, and we will I will be right back because we are going to make one, okay? <laughs> I will be right back. Hi guys, it's Deb here with Creative Life, and today I have my swap from my partner over at Pocket Letters and Embellishments. Um, I did the fan uh, embellishment swap, and um, I sent her mine, and um, so I got hers the other day, and so I've been um, wanting to make this uh, video, and so finally get to open my package, so I'm so excited. I went ahead and cut it open, but I didn't peek inside, um, so <laughs> I couldn't help it. I was like, I just want to go. So um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So so excited! So I'm just gonna set the envelope right over here. Sure, I'm not missing anything. And oh my gosh, look at that! Oh my gosh, these are so beautiful. Look at how pretty those fans are. Oh my gosh, they are simply gorgeous. And then she sent me some bling, which I always love. And I love that. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love that. Thank you so much, Claudia. Oh my gosh, and look at that cute little bow she did. 
Oh my gosh. That is super cute. I love that. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to use that, you guys. Oh my gosh. And then, oh my gosh, look at these. Super, super, super cute. Super cute. Love these. Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh, look at the little pearls and stuff on them. Oh, wow. Look at how cute. I mean, I they're just so delicate. I mean, and the 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 um bling that she put on here really makes them so um classy. Like they're just so classy. I don't know. <laughs> they're, just, they're just so pretty. I love the pink. Oh my gosh. That is super nice. I love it. I absolutely love these. Oh, wow. So, I'm going to have to tell her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And what's this? Oh, some more fans. Oh, my gosh. Look at you guys. Oh, look at how I love her pearls. I don't know where she gets them at. I'm going to have to ask her because those are so pretty. They're so shiny. Oh, my gosh. I absolutely love those. Wow. And these are really neat. I like how she did her fan with the um, lace behind it. I have to look and see how she did I have to open it up. Oh my gosh, these are so stinking cute. That is like super beautiful. Look at that. That is so pretty and so vintage. I absolutely love that. And I like these. This, how she did them because she put the pearls in between the fans. I never even would have thought about doing something like that. Look at how really super pretty that is. See how she put the, the pearls in between her fan? That is so super cool. I absolutely love that idea. I would have never thought of doing anything like that with my fans. But I'm going to. <laughs> so I'm still in your idea. <laughs> Claudia, I love your fans. Oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. And I love that black one. Oh my gosh. I think her and I had black on the brain too because we both did kind of like black ones and stuff so um these are so super cool and i love the paper i love that thank you so much well thank you so much for my goodies and for my fans claudia i really love everything i do i do i do so um thank you claudia and thank you guys for tuning in and um so I will be back with another swap. I have an uh, embellishment book that I'm working on, and I will be posting that soon. So thank you so much. <laughs> I will talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Deb here with Creative Life, and today I'm going to go ahead and um, share with you how I made my embellishment purse. So um, it's just an embellishment purse holder, I guess is what I'm calling it, <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's a it's a purse that right before uh, we I showed just a while ago on my tutorial or on my um, uh, the video right before this one, um, I showed you guys how I did uh, made a purse and I put embellishment the fan embellishments on it when I used acetate to go ahead and stick them on there and um, I made that for my partner and um, she absolutely loved it so um, I am going to show you guys how I made that and I just thought it was a neat concept because I can't find anything online that I wanted and so I kind of came up with um, that little purse now 
if someone else has done something like that, I didn't know about it. I um, seriously did not see anything like that before. So um, this is something that I created and, um, you know, but if, if somebody else did one, I, I apologize. I did not copy anybody. <laughs> so I just want to put that out there. <laughs> okay. So, um, so I'm going to use um, this bow bunny paper that I've had in my stash for quite a while. So um, it is called Secret Garden. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut this at 8 by 12. So it's going to be 8 by 12. So. Okay. And this is going to be my inside. And um, I think and this might be my inside. And this might be the outside. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut another piece of paper that is 8 by um, 4. So um, this piece will, let's see here. I'm going to do it this way. Sorry, guys. I'm just thinking. So I really, I want this little bird to show on there. So basically, I think I want to cut this part off a little bit right there and then measure it to four. Or, nope. Uh, four by eight. Oh, this, this way. Nope. This has got to be eight inches. So I'm not sure because four would be way too small. Hold on. Maybe I did do four. It didn't seem like it when I did it, but it might have been. It seemed like it was a little bit bigger. Um, let's go ahead and cut this to six. And then if we need to, we'll cut it down. So we're going to go ahead and cut this at six. Okay. So you'll need one that is 12 by eight and another one that is six by eight. So, okay, let's stick those over the side. And then you will need your scoreboard. Okay, and um, then you're going to go ahead and um, you're going to go ahead and turn this over on the 12, 12 inch line here. Okay, and then um, you're going to go ahead and score it. Okay, and we are going to go ahead and score, I think. Let me see here. Hold on one second. I think I left like an inch gap. Six and a half. And then you're going to go ahead and score it at um, at six. six, six. Yeah, because I remember um, it was a little bit. Um, I think I just left like a half inch gap for my embellishments. Now, if you're sticking a lot more stuff in here, you could go a half inch if you, or another, in, uh, make it an inch if you want. But um, I did a half inch, so it's six. So you'll score at six, and then six and a half. Okay. So when you fold in or burnish your score lines, your bag will look like this. Okay. That's what your bag is going to look like. And that's fine because that's what this top part is for. So this top part is actually going to go a little bit behind here, just like this. Okay. And then we're going to score and it's going to come down and you're going to leave another half inch. Okay. And it'll fold down. Now, and, may, and that's why I wasn't sure if I cut it at four, but I am assuming I did because otherwise your top piece would be like super long. Um, you can keep it that long and just kind of go ahead and just glue it down if you wanted. I um, am going to go ahead and cut mine. So um, 
I am going to cut this down at four. So um, we're going to. Yep, I guess so. So um, we are going to go ahead and cut this down to four and a half. Okay. And the reason why I say four and a half is because I want to leave that half inch mark. So let's go ahead and do four and a half. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue this actually on here first. Okay. And I just took a little piece of, uh, uh, just did a little bit of glue on the bottom of that. I didn't do very much. Okay. Maybe this will work. Yep. Oh, there goes my. Okay. So, whoop. Okay. And I just do like a um, maybe like an eighth of an inch. I don't I don't glue it. Um, I don't do a whole piece. I just do like a little piece. So really, I'm only gluing like yeah, like maybe an eighth. Uh, like a quarter of an inch of the paper so on the per on the bottom part or the top part of the purse so there so it'll look like this okay so now you have this and then we're going to go ahead and put this in here and you're going to go ahead and score um, at four you're going to go ahead and score at four and um, an eighth okay so score four and eighth and then you're going to go ahead and score at uh, four and three. Uh, yeah, it would be at four and um, or three and three quarters. Okay. So there is your purse. So we're done. We're just about done, actually. So, um, okay. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to um, do the acetate in here. Okay. So, so I just have a piece of acetate that is um, the you know standard size eight and a half by eleven sheet of acetate. And um, I just cut it down to fit right here, right over my um, book here. So I just went ahead and cut it. Now, if you, you don't have to like fit it to, like exactly to it. You can leave a border if you want to. So um, if you wanted to do that, I just I think I went ahead and just cut mine down to um, seven and three quarters. I didn't do like the seven eighths and stuff because um, I didn't think I needed it. So just depends on what embellishments you're going to be using on it. So um, and then this part here, you're going to go ahead and cut at um, like five and three quarters. So you'll cut it at seven and three quarters by five and three quarters and then I did the same thing here so this is our big acetate right here and then you're left with a small um, like a, a smaller size and that will fit right here okay so once you cut your acetate, you're left with um, the 11, you know, if you use the standard size 11 and a half by, or 11, 8 and a half by 11, 
then your other acetate will be at five and a quarter by seven and three quarters. So, and that will fit nicely right there, just on the other side of that. So you really don't need two sheets of acetate. You're using one whole piece of acetate to fit inside of this little embellishment book, okay? So um, for this part, what I did was um, I just went ahead and got glue dots, um, and I just used those, I think, on there. Um, but if you have, like, vellum or if you have score tape or whatever, you can use that as well. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and just use the vellum, so uh, or not the vellum, the, um, the score tape. So I just did like little pieces, but you can do whatever you want. So like if you wanted to, you could just go around. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut off a little piece here. And I'm just going to put like a little piece right here. And then... did that and then um, if you wanted to I, I just remembered that if you wanted to get you have like little goodies for your person or whatever um, you can actually get like a little um, bag so like you have like a little bag like a little cellophane bag and you put your goodies inside then you can just go ahead and stick that on top of there and you could just um, Go ahead and use tape or whatever you want to do and then just stick that right on top of there just like that so your goodies will be in one place and then their little embellishments will be over here now to stick the embellishments on <clears throat> um this is one of the embellishments that i just made and so um to um stick this on i just used um those little these little um foam dots okay so um, they're called thumb tabs, or they're dot. You know, you can buy them. They're all different. So um, you could just go ahead and stick one on there, just on the back of there, like that, and then just put that on there. And it's going to go ahead and stay on there, so it's not going to move. So that's how I got my embellishments to stay um, on the 
inside of my um, my little purse. So again, I just grabbed my little embellishment, and then I just grabbed a little foam dot, put it on the back, took off the back part of it, and then I just stuck my embellishment on there like that. So, um, you know, of course they were different because they were fans, so um, they were not the same. So I'm just getting out a bunch of different ones that I just did. So, um, so here's a fan that I did, and I'm just going to go ahead and stick that on there. that and and I just kind of um, put mine kind of close together that way um, you know whatever I was going to stick on there I would have room now when you have something like this that has a bat the front and the back done um, you know you could go ahead and just stick the little dot on the paper clip itself right here Okay, or, you know, if you want to maybe do it here, I don't know if it'll rip it, shouldn't, but um, you can just go ahead and stick it on there like that, and it should stay pretty secure on there, so, and then, so I'm just going to like that. And then you'll just do your embellishments all the way down. And then, like I said, if you have like some goodies that you want to send them or whatever, and you just pop your little, you know, whatever you're giving them, you know, inside your bag right here. Like these, like I probably, you know, like this right here. Um, you know, it's not going to go on here. So like this maybe will be a goodie. And um, maybe these little things. So you just pop your little goodies inside there. And then you'll go ahead and then just tape that down. Or you can put like a bow on it, put a topper on it. However you want to decorate your your little bag for um, your person. You can put, like I said, you can put like a little topper on it. And um, this was actually made for me. <laughs> This was one of the toppers that Claudia put on her little um, happy mail to me. And then you could just stick your little your little bag up just like that. So so there's that part. So then once we're we get all of our um, your stuff done, okay, and the, and then you know you they can still take off the embellishments even though your um, little tabs might still stick down on there. That is okay. Don't worry about that. Okay, they can get them off or, you know, whatever they want to do. So we're just going to go ahead and take those off of there while we're putting together our handle. Of course, that this you'll put your um, embellishments on after we get, like, our um, handle done and everything. I just wanted to show you that part real quick. So for your handle... Um, we're going to go ahead and do a handle that comes up like this, okay? And then um, we're also put on the little, um, the, what do you call it? The magnets. So your magnets will um, be right here. So um, for the corners, you can punch that. I'm just going to use this little corner punch that I have had forever. And I'm just. going to go ahead and do our little handle. So for your handle, um, you can use whatever you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut a strip out of here. Okay, and your um, strip is actually going to be, um, I think this is a quarter inch. Your strip is going to be at Um, 
three eighths. Okay, so you're gonna make a strip that is for three eighths. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and make a three eighths strip. what I did is I I am um, I curled mine a little bit just like this okay and I just remembered you'll need two brads so um, so to brads. make it a little bit stronger what I did was um, I went ahead and backed it up with um, some paper so um, this right here and I think I forgot to tell you guys the measurement this is going to measure, it should be at nine. Um. So, and then once I started um, putting, gluing them together, um, I just started um, curling it with my fingers a little bit so I could um, kind of get it a little bit round. Just like that. And then you're going to go ahead and um, if you wanted to, you could do a dark purple up here as a little border um, for, you know, your or your whatever color you're using you could do that I think um, I think I might do that so um, actually I think I'm gonna make a bigger purple one And I think I'm going to do it at a half inch. So I want to try to have a border so, um, on that. So actually, we'll be gluing three pieces together. Like you could do that if you wanted. But I think I just, I think I want to do, um, oh, there it is. I was like, what did I do with it? Okay. So just want to do that. And at nine, so I need to actually put this down to I need to cut it down to like eight and like eight and three quarters. So let's do that. So we're going to cut our little strips down to eight and three quarters, just like that. So that way our half strip will have a border around it, just like that. Okay. Just like that and again if you wanted to you know you could definitely go ahead and glue um, a piece of the purple on the back of that so you would just need another um, half inch strip of paper so um, that is at nine inches And I'm just pressing down with my fingers to burnish it in. Okay. So 
it's nice and burnished. So now that we have, you know, we have quite a few, we have four pieces of paper on it. It should be pretty stiff uh, as a handle. So you're just going to go ahead and kind of round it out a little bit. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and just, um, what I did on each end is I just kind of flipped it up like that. Okay. And um, I didn't really measure it out, but I guess if you wanted a measurement, um, it would be like a half inch. So I just kind of eyeballed it on both sides. And um, so it's approximately, um, like I said, a half inch. So is what I did. So I just went in like a half inch. You can score it on your scoreboard and then just go ahead and um, do that. And again, I'm just making sure that everything's like burnished together. Yeah. And if you need to add glue to, like right here, I need to add glue. Oh, I don't know, it keeps blowing bubbles. <laughs> so, I'm just going to add glue to there, just like that. Grab my little wipey here. And wipe my fingers. Okay. And then I got my um, little hole punch. Okay. And I just punched my hole um, on my ends right here. So. Um, where you folded it up right here. I just got my hole punch and punched it um, right in the center. So, and I just kind of went, like I just gauged it, punched a hole. Yeah. It's got stuck. So then once I punched my hole, I just went ahead and stuck my little brad in there. Just like that. So I think that green looks really nice with it. So, and then I just went ahead and flattened out my brads. And then if your like little ends are sticking out, like mine are, I just went ahead and cut it off. Like that. Okay. And again, I'm just going to punch my hole in there. Don't know why it keeps getting stuck in there. Oh. And then, put that in there. And then I just go ahead and cut this off, just like that. There you go. So now you have your handle ready. So now your handle can just be glued down right there. Okay. And um, I just keep cur curving mine until I get it to where, you know, how I want it. So, um, you know, if you're if you still need to work on your handle just go ahead and keep curving it until you know you your it's the way that you want it so cuz you're going to form your paper so um, once i went ahead and um, cut the tips of my brad off here that okay just like that all right um then I went ahead and just glued this on. Um, I actually used like really sticky um, adhesive. I used um, the glue dots, these right here for that because these are super, super sticky. And um, they, 
work great. So um, this is what I used to get this to stick on. Um, but you can use whatever you would like. You have um, score tape or whatever. Um, you can definitely use that. And then I just kind of centered centered it. Um, didn't really, I mean, you can put it at the ends. You can put it however you want. I just kind of left like maybe, I don't know, um, like a purse, I don't know, like a little, maybe what, like a half inch or so right there. Just like that. So my handle is right there, just like that. And then um, after I did that, then I went ahead and I stuck on my glue dots, okay? So, or my, my magnets, not my glue dots, <laughs> my magnets. So um, you can glue on your magnets. And like I said, you can use, um, I used four. I actually put, because it was kind of large, I used two here and then I used two here. Um, I'm going to go ahead up. Oh. I was like, why are these stuck together? Oh. Okay. All right. So you'll just need four. So there's two. And then there's four. Okay. And um, so for these, um, now, I don't care if mine showed, but if you don't want yours to show, um, then, um, you know, you can go ahead and put them on here and then go ahead and, um, you know, cover it up however you want to do it. Um, but to me, I, I was fine with mine um, showing. So um, I was like wondering where my other ones went. They were stuck. So, uh, again, I just got my, grabbed my, my, um, glue dots, put them on the back, and I just kind of gauged where I wanted it, um, so like here. When they pull it up, it'll just snap up just like that. So that's how I did mine. Um, and then to make it a little bit, you know, if your paper is a little bit wobbly or whatever, you know, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> mine seems like a little bit wobbly. I don't know why. But I'm going to go ahead and embellish it a little bit. And um, and then that'll stiffen it up. So, yeah. So that's how I did this purse. So um, I'm going to go ahead and um, we're going to start on the next one because the next one um, I want to show you guys um, how I did that one. So you can embellish the, the front of this however you want. So but I'm going to embellish mine later. So the, the next one we're going to do, I actually went ahead and started cutting it um, already and um, See, I didn't do, I didn't do, really do anything to it yet. Um, I used the fab scrap um, papers for this one that I had in my stash. And um, they have some really pretty papers. And so one of the papers is called uh, Fascination. And then the other one is called Gentleness. So um, really super pretty. And so... Um, and um, so I'm going to use these. Um, this is going to actually be the the, um, the 
closure top of the purse right here. Okay, and then this part is actually going to be the outside of the purse. So uh, for this purse, it actually measures six and a half by twelve. Okay, so you're going to need one page that is um, six and a half by twelve. The next one is going to be. Um, oh, I thought I cut this down. Oh wait, maybe I did. Hold on, I got the wrong one. The next one is going to be six and a half, and that one is going to be um, at, again. Um, we are going to cut that down four and a half. Okay, so we're going to cut this down to four and a half. Again, I want this little bird on there, and so I'm going to have to cut down this piece. So I'm actually going to cut it right here, like that, and then cut this at four and a half. So I can have the flowers and the bird on there just like that. So um, I really wanted that big flower on there, but it wasn't going to happen. So. <laughs> So on this piece here, um, we are going to go ahead and measure the same thing. Um, we are going to go ahead and measure it at um, six and a half. And this one I'm going to do a little bit bigger because this is actually going to be for some um, paper cutouts that I'm doing for a swap. So I'm actually going to do, um, okay. So we're going to go ahead and do, or no, five and a half. Let's see here. Yeah, five and a half to six and a half is what we're going to do. So we're going to do a, a little larger um, order here. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to make some pockets. So, um, but I need the room for my, um, for what I stick in here. So because they're going to be die cuts. So, um, so yeah, so I need to um, go ahead and then in, what we're going to do is for the pocket, we're going to make pockets inside of these and they're not going to be like regular pockets. They're actually going to be acetate pockets so they can actually see what's inside of here. And then I want to put um, one something in the middle here or I might just do a pocket on the back for some more because I have to have 15 and all and so if I do you know maybe five of one thing um, five here and then I'll do another five on the back so um, it'll be a purse like a little embellishment or die cut purse that they can store their die cuts in so um, so since this is an inch right here okay um, we're gonna go ahead and score an inch on this so, and, and I'm hoping that this works. So, if not, I will have to probably improvise. So, um, so we're going to have to do, actually, we're going to do an inch. So, we did an inch here, but we still need to glue this on here. So... Not sure how that's going to work. That might be able. Okay, that'll work. It'll work. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just do our little bit um, here. So if you want to get your adhesive, your score tape, or whatever you want to do, okay, I'm just going to use my glue and I'm just putting it right on the edge of um, the paper. <laughs> like this and then this will go over so actually um, it will work we are going to go ahead and score here since this will be an inch right here so we will score that so we're going to go ahead and bring this over I don't know where my little score thing went oh, there it is and we're just going to score it right on wherever your it should be like right on the tip of that that um, 
the edge of this paper right here, like a should be like a what a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch there. So right here. And um, that's where you're going to go ahead and score your paper. So just go ahead and put that up there like that. And there's your purse. So um, I think that goes really well together. So I like that. Um, yeah, so now I just need to make like three more. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. So, okay, so for the back of this, we're going to go ahead and do like a little pocket. And I think for this one, I am going to use like a paper pocket. Um, this one, I might go ahead and just use something like this just to give it a nice little touch. And I might go ahead and cut it down some at, so I can go ahead and use a nice border on this. Um, since it is a gift for somebody for one of my swap partners. Um, I want to put like a really pretty um, border on that. So I'm going to cut this down. And then um, for the inside, you keep, we're going to use acetate, okay? And, um, but it's going to be an acetate pocket, okay? And then on this side too, this one will be an acetate pocket. Um, and on the acetate, we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and make like a little border on the acetate so that way um, they can tell that it's a, it's a pocket and it's going to fold down and then come up. So um, it's, you know, it's completely up to you how you want to do that part. I um, don't know if I want to use magnets um, since I'm putting one here. I'm not sure. So this part is where... Um, I haven't really, like, I'm just kind of like <laughs> doing this. <laughs> it's a fly, <laughs> just a thought in the head. <laughs> so um, for our handle, okay, I am going to go ahead and use this part. And then I will probably go ahead and use um, part of this. So um, if I cut that down just a bit, yeah. I will be able to have this blue part here so I can um, kind of put that on the handle. So, so um, the handle is actually going to be, since this is six and a half, um, it is going to be eight inches. Okay. And how I gauge my handle, um, I don't, I've never made a, like one of those purses that like are on Pinterest and stuff like that. Um, but I just kind of gauge like, um, so it's six and a half and I know I usually do like a half inch on each side for my handle. So, um, um, so that would give me seven and then I need another seven and then, um, that leaves me another half inch just in case, um, like, you know, when you bend your paper, sometimes you know, it, um, it needs that room. So, um, I, I, that's how I, how I gauge it. So, and if I need to cut it down, then I can, I have, I have an extra, you know, half inch to play with. So that's how I do some of my projects. When I think of things is that I go ahead and, and add an extra, you know, half inch to an inch to my, my things, just in case I need that to play around. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this down at eight. Okay. And then we'll need to cut down, um, some of our other, um, <laughs> pocket on the back is going to measure so because this piece is a five and a half piece so um, let's just cut it down to, to five it might be shorter it may end up being shorter than that um, actually you're gonna need about a half inch so um, because if you do a pretty border with a die or anything you're gonna need 
a half inch on that. So um, you let's go ahead and cut it at five and a half. We'll cut it at five and a half. So, so it's going to be five and a half by five and a half for right now, okay? Because that's going to be for our back pocket. And then for my, um, for this part here, since I don't have a lot of this paper left, I am going to go ahead and, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and use this and I'm going to cut it at seven eighths. So I'm just cutting it at 7 eighths. And I'm actually just going to lay this right in the middle like this. So it will give me a border. Um, and I'm just going to lay it right in the middle. And this is where I'm going to bend my, um, my little tabs, the ends up, and put my brads right here. So I'm actually going to do that right now. Since that's in the middle part. going to do it like that and then that's one part and then this part here I need I'm going to go ahead and cut out another piece of this um, so I will have another piece that is um, eight one inch by um, eight okay is our handle. So we're just going to go ahead and set it just like that. So again, I'm just going to get my sticky glue dots. And I am def I'm going to put this towards the end here, just like that. And then put this one towards the end here, just like that. So there's our handle. So we are um, getting there. So there's our little purse. Okay. And then, um, and then we just need one little. Um, magnet there. So 
we we'll go ahead and put our little magnet there. Gosh, you guys, this is going to tear off my, um, my, I thought it would tear off my nail polish. <laughs> so there we go. So there is our magnet for our purse. So, and then for, um, again, I'm just going to go ahead and put, um, so, um, again, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to decorate this. I'm going to put like a little border on this here, a little, um, whatever border I do on here, that will be on here. And then the border will be on my acetate. So, um, that I'm going to, um, go ahead and get ready for. So I'm going to clean up my desk and I will be right back. Hi guys, I'm back. So, okay, um, we went ahead and did our little purse and we left off um, doing our magnets and then we went ahead and did our um, handle and then the next thing we were going to do was make a pocket for back here and we were going to make um, a couple of acetate pockets for the inside to go ahead and stuff your embellishments or whatever you're doing. Um, for this one, I'm actually doing a die swap. So I'm actually going to put acetate pockets in here and then go ahead and put a nice little, um, a nice little um, uh, die cut on here that they can actually, you know, if they want to, they can tear it off and use it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, once I finish that part, I'm going to, I went ahead and cut out another, like a little piece to put on here. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and tie a ribbon around this. So, um, it kind of, kind of gives, gives a nice little, um, addition to, to the purse, uh, like a little embellishment. And then I'm going to go ahead and put, um, probably, I don't know, I might go ahead and put, um, something on here on the bottom. I don't know yet. Um, maybe some flowers or something. But um, let's go ahead and do the pocket. So for the back pocket, um, your paper is actually going to measure. Oh, here it is. <laughs> your back pocket is actually going to measure, I think I went ahead and said um, five and a half by five and a half. I went ahead and used my Spellbinders die and I actually cut it out, but um, it left like a little ridge right here because I had it to. Um, close to the top. So I used this Spellbinders die. Um, it is the card creator and um, it's the A2 Scalloped Borders 1. So I actually used this guy right here, which is this, and then I used this pretty little one right here and um, really like that together. So it made a really nice um, cut and so um and it looks like this so i went ahead and um did the other two um flaps for the inside acetate pockets that we're going to do so i went ahead and got those those two cut out now those two are actually going to measure um six that you'll want okay is three by three or um six by three and a quarter Okay, so you'll want two of those like that. And then, um, so uh, for our, um, and we're going to just stick the, those to the side because we are going to do our acetate pockets in just a second. Okay, so for this right here, we are going to use this as our pocket. Okay, and that's just going to go right back here. And right down just like that um, I went ahead and rounded out my paper um, I find that sometimes if I round out my paper um, it kind of is it's able to kind of have enough give to where you can stuff something in there for you know so it's 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 a pocket so for your pocket so um, I'm gonna go ahead and like I said I'm just rounding it out just kind of getting it and pulling it like this, stretching it 
I guess is how I call it. Um, and then again, I'm just rounding out the bottom part. Okay. And then um, for this part, I am going to use my score tape. Okay. So I'm just getting some score tape here. And I'm just going to put it on the end, the very end of my piece of paper. Okay. just going to go ahead and rub my paper down. Okay, so it looks like that. So. Okay, that way your stuff fits in there and it's not so tight. Okay, and then um, for the inside, uh, like I said, I went ahead and cut out um, one one of these for the inside already. Um, I just need to do another one. And because I was going to put one on the outside here, but I just can't decide which one I want. So I think that's going to be on the inside. And I just need to do one more, actually. So... I'm going to go ahead and bring over um, the acetate and we'll go ahead and get our pockets started. Okay, so for your acetate pockets, what you're going to do is you're going to get an eight and a half by 11 sheet of acetate. Okay, and you're going to go ahead and cut that actually going to be five and a half or I'm sorry, not five, five and a quarter. I wrote my, I'm right. I'm looking at my directions here. So I wrote them down while I was making one. So five and a quarter by seven. I want to make sure that's at seven. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put that on your scoreboard because we're going to score it. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to score at a half inch. So you're going to go ahead and butt that up. Score down a half inch. All the way down. And for this, um, you are going to have to probably go over it a couple of times just to get the, the score line really going. Okay. Um, six and a half. So you're going to score at a half inch and then at six and a half. Okay. And then you'll have to turn the paper over too. Okay. You're going to go ahead and, and uh, put it lengthways this way at five and score another half inch because this is a pocket. So we are going to shape it like a pocket for the inside. Then you're going to go ahead and turn it over and you're going to go ahead and, and just go down those score lines again. So a half inch. Then turn it up and you're going to do a half inch. And then you're going to come over here and you're going to do six and a half.
okay? okay? Once you get that set, okay, then you can go, come in and you can go ahead and burnish those down. and burnish that down. And then you're going to come up and you're going to burnish that down. Now you've got your um, little X's on here and I don't know if you guys can see that um, just like you do with your papers so you'll have like a little X at that point you'll need to cut that off okay so just grab your scissors okay and you'll just go ahead and cut that part off And now you've got your pocket. So now we can go ahead and just lay that back down again, burnish it down. Okay. Just like that. All right. So I already did this one. And so now I have two of them made. Okay. So um, one will be. Um, so one will be for the right or for one will be for this side and then one for down here. Now, depending on how you want it, okay, um, your purse opens up like this. So you could go ahead and you can put your acetate, you know, your, your top one, when it opens, it's going to go like this. And then this one, of course, is going to go up. So your opening is this way right here. This is your opening part. Okay. And then, um, but you can also, the problem with laying it this way is that then your pieces will maybe, I don't know, fall out or whatever, unless you go ahead and do a flap. And so I thought about doing a flap on these. Okay. So um, we're going to go ahead and score these two that we cut out. Okay. These are going to get scored at a half inch. So you're going to go ahead and score them at a half inch. Or let's, yeah, let's score them at a half inch. And then I have to um, cut out another one for the top. So okay, I'm going to go in at a half inch right here. And then this one, um, I'm not going to score because this one is the one I wanted in my front of my um, purse. So this one is scored at a half inch. So, and it doesn't really matter. I mean, you can go ahead and put it like this if you wanted. Um, and I think it's okay if, you know, it doesn't have to be like all the way. Um, it can hang over a little bit. See how my mine hangs over just a bit. I think that's okay. So, um, so there, there's your little, and then when they open it, their pieces will be inside. And um, for this closure, if you, if it, you know, if we need to have it stay closed, we could just do like a little sticker right here or a little. Okay, so now what we're going to do is for our flaps right here, um, you're just going to go ahead and cut them in just a tad. So you don't want um, a lot cut off, but just a, a little bit, just a little bit. Just kind of angle them upwards. And then you're going to go ahead and put your, um, your tape down. Okay, so we're just going to lay our tape down. Now, um, I'm...
right, so um, okay, so now we've got our pockets and we can go ahead and lay them down. So I'm going to put this pocket here. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and since I have this on here, um, I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. So, um, so that way when I take my tape off, it will stick to the back of that. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay that down here, just like that. Okay. And let's see, we'll go ahead and take off our tape. Okay. <laughs> my tape will come off. Okie dokie. Okay, so I've got my little um, closure, my little flap, and I'm just going to like butt it up to that score line, overlay that score line right there, okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. Now, um, I don't know, if, depending on what paper you're using, if you can't see your score line, I can't, and you may want to stand it up a little bit so you can find it. <laughs> okay, so I'll go ahead and try to stand this up just like this. And then I'm just going to lay the sides down. Okay. And then there is our little pocket. Now, this part right here, you can glue down. So you can go ahead and grab your glue. If you're using tape, then go ahead and just... Um, uh, you put your tape on before you um, attach it. So, and then that way you can just tear off your your tape. Okay. Um, this stuff right on in there, and then this little flap will close. So I think our little flaps will be fine. I mean, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and stick like a little bow or something there. Um, but I think that they'll be okay. And then here, I'm going to stick my other little flap, but this one will be upright. So my stuff will go in this way. Okay. So um, again, I'm just going to grab this little closure that we made. I'm going to go ahead and peel off my... use tape go ahead and put your tape on now so like if you were using tape then you would just go ahead get your tape put your tape on there don't take it off though until after you get your um until after you get your pocket on okay so you're going to burnish that down okay and then but if you're using glue you could go ahead and and use glue either before or after. So like right now, we're going to attach our pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of gauge the middle part of my, um, where my acetate's gonna lay. So like right there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press that down, just like that. Okay, then once I have my pocket on there, okay, I can go ahead and grab my tape and I can pull it off. So just go ahead and grab it like that, pull it off, and tack it down. Okay, 
So there's our little pockets. So um, I think they're super cute, you guys. And then, like I said, um, you can stick something on there if you want, but I really don't think it's necessary because um, it's gonna be closed, you know? And um, so I don't think that we'll need anything. And I have a little bit of side here poking out and we could just go ahead and clip that off. So I'm just gonna cut that off. So I'm going to open this back up. There we go. So I think that looks really good. So, um, okay. So now, um, we can go ahead and, since we've got our pockets done, um, we can go ahead and do the front. And I think I was going to go ahead and put this down like this. Or I could do this. I kind of like it just like that. I kind of, I like that big flower, but oh, this is like five minutes. Okay. So I think I'm going to just lay it just like that. Okay. And so I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue around the, this part right here and on the side. And I'm not going to add a lot of glue. Um. And then that gives them like a little flap to pull up on. And also I can go ahead and add my little ribbon to this. I'm gonna go ahead and put tape um, okay. Wrap it around. And I'm gonna go ahead and take just a bit off. I'm actually going to kind of move that away from me. Okay. And I want to go ahead and just keep my um, my little thing straight as straight as possible. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some more seam binding here. Okay. Or not seam binding, some tape. And the reason why I do the tape instead of the glue for my seam binding is because um, sometimes the glue tends to seep through my seam binding and um, I don't like that so that's why I'm using this. Then I'm just going to go ahead and grab another little piece because I'm missing a spot right here and I'm just going to go ahead and wrap that around this way. So I kind of have a double tape but that's okay. No worries, it'll still work. Alrighty, so now I have um, some tape all the way around, and then um, I'm going to go ahead and grab my grab this part here. Okay, I'm going to rip it off. Okay, I'm not going to take off anything up front here from when I wrap my seam binding. Okay, I don't want anything off of there, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab my seam binding. And I'm going to stick it on top of my score tape, just like that. Press down. This part I need to pull back. Just like that okay and then I'm gonna bring this around and I'm the reason why I have it open 
is because the magnets keep wanting to stick together and um, so this kind of helps alleviate that problem so then I'm going to go ahead and bring this seam binding around here just like that and I was going to do I, I'm still going to do a bow but I'm going to um, tie a bow on my bow at all so I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that's straight then tear off the rest of my score tape just like that plus I don't know if I want I was thinking about just a paper bow do some ribbon on there I just thought that would be like super cute if I just ran the ribbon here just like that or I mean the lace on top of that but you know that might look good on there too it was super cute you guys I think I'm done um, like I said you can put more items in here if you want um, I might go ahead and just put like a little saying right here um, but I don't I don't know what I'm gonna put yet um, but when I finish these I will definitely do a finished video before I send all of my purses out with all of my die cuts and everything so I hope that you guys liked today's tutorial and um, try these out they're super super cute and um, you know of course it goes a little bit more faster the, the more you do them you know <laughs> the more that you do it I guess <laughs> so thank you so much for um, <laughs> tuning in today and I really appreciate it um, and I am almost at a thousand subscribers which means that I will be doing a giveaway once I reach that total so I'm like yay so um, I've been going through some of my stash and I am going to be doing a D stash um, so I will be doing some videos on um, some of those items and so stay tuned and um, y'all have a nice week and I will be back soon. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.